Hey everyone, I hope you're doing good. In this video, we will be talking about type narrowing in TypeScript with React. And this is very useful, especially if you have a component that can receive a different type of props, a different set of props. And you can use type narrowing to still get the benefits of TypeScript's type checking. And for that, we're going to use discriminated unions in operator narrowing and equality narrowing, but I'll show you that uh, later on in the video. So first, um, I'll show you an example. So let's imagine we have an application that uh, renders a component and that component renders the items. And here you can see the items um, where we have an array of objects and the first object has an ID, title and image URL property. So that's this guy right here. And then we have another object which only has an ID and a quote. So that's the list item right there. So when I go into inside that component, you will see right here that it essentially conditionally renders the title, the image URL or the quote based on whether it does exist or not. So as you can see in the type, we said that the title, the image URL and the quote can be optional. Now, if that's really the case, if, for example, you can have right here list items that have either a title, an image URL, a quote, or a combination of um, them, then this is fine. But now let's imagine that, you know, someone comes to us and tells us, well, it's actually only possible to pass an image item, so one with a title and an image URL, or a quote. Well, in that case, this is not going to work because now let's imagine i also have a title right here um, and i'll save this file you will see now that the quote item also has a title and i can also add an image url because we set that type up like this so we want to prevent this from happening the first thing i'm going to start with is defining the two different items okay so I will say we have an interface called, uh, let's call it image item, for example, image item, which has these properties right here. But of course, these are now not conditional because they should always be passed on that image item. And I'll just copy paste this. We'll have a quote item. And in this case, it doesn't have a title and image URL, but it does have a quote. And that can also not be optional. So now we can say instead of the item being this, we can change this to type item. And now we're going to use a simply a uh, union type, right? So we're going to say it can be either an image item or it can be a quote item, just like that. And now you can see that we have some errors down below. And when I hover over title, it says property title does not exist on type quote item, which is true, right? The quote item does not have a property title. So right now we need to let TypeScript know that we either want to return an image item or a quote item. And that's where we can use make use of the in operator in this case. And I'll also show you an example how you can use equality narrowing um, to uh, based on a type property. Now, the first thing that I will do is coming out the code right here because what we essentially want to do is we want to have a conditional return taking place so return either the image item or the quote item so i'll just comment this out right here and like i said first of all we're going to use the in operator narrowing example to demonstrate how we can approach this so if i say if and now we have to look for the property inside the item. So we could, for example, say if the title exists in the item that's coming from the array, in that case, return. And now I could actually grab some of this code. Just have to uncomment it and have to remove this. Let's see. So we get a list item. There we go. I just put that right there. So now you'll see we got rid of the error because now when I hover over item, you will see that item is the image item. So how this worked is that we let TypeScript know that this can only be 
a image item, right? And the reason for that is that we said that only if the title property is an item, then return this. So TypeScript can then be well, sure that it's about an image item and not about a quote item. And you can see right here, we get a warning and it says array.prototype.map expects a value to be returned at the end of the arrow function, right? Because let's imagine we have a quote item, we would currently not return anything. So in order to catch everything else, which should be a quote item or quote items, I'd have to say, we can simply say return and I can grab, well, let's copy it again, actually. And commented and now we don't have let's take a look we don't have this part and we don't have uh, this part as well so we do have the list item I just have to bring it up right here but now you see when I hover over item it says quote item right so that automatically defaults then to the remaining items which in this case is a quote item so I can actually remove this as well and you will now see that Whenever I save this, we still get the same results. But what's nice about this is that, for example, let's imagine these interfaces would have been a lot longer, right? So we would have more properties on the objects. Then TypeScript will do type checking because it knows that this item is, well, of a certain type. So it also makes it a lot easier for you to, uh, well, not make mistakes, essentially. And now you can also rest assured then that, for example, whenever you get an image property uh, with a quote, oops, I have to copy the whole thing right here. In this case, you will see it will only show, it will still show the quote and it will not show the image. However, if I would do the title right here, and of course, this is something that in, you know, a real life situation would probably never happen because the backend should not return this anyway, right? They should also have type checking in place and this should never um, be happening. But now you can see because we have a title property on that second object, it automatically gets catched right here. So that's why you can't see the quote because that's simply not being returned. Um, let's go back to the default, there we go. So that's using the in operator. Now you can also do um, narrowing based on equality and often you'll see that this is done based on a type. So I'll show you an example of that. What you often see with these kind of things, let's imagine you have a lot of different items, right? Then even though most of the time there's always a unique property um, on a certain item that is not part of any other items, that's not always a guarantee. So in those cases, you probably want to choose for having a type property on your uh, object. And that is, of course, something that needs to be returned by the backend. But what I could say is that, for example, this item can have a type and uh, that is always uh, image item, for example. And then we can have the same for here. And this should be quote oh quote item there we go okay something like that so now you see the code is um is failing because it says that right here in our app component it now needs to get past those types so i can say type is and you can see we have image item and this then should return the quote item like that so this now still works, but in order to make use of this type, we can simply say that if the item dot type is equal to image item, then you can see the code again will work because now TypeScript is sure that this item is indeed an image item. So now I hear you thinking like, hey, Mitchell, what is the best thing to use? Should I prefer in operator narrowing or equality narrowing? So that really depends, okay? If you have, for example, items that are uh, very different in terms of 
how they build up and so they have like unique properties so as for example in uh, the example i showed you right here where you have a title property that's on the image item but not on the quote item then it's perfectly fine to go with the in operator but like i said if that title property would for example be conditional um you could have used the image url as well for the in operator narrowing but sometimes you don't have like that unique property that's always on an object and in those cases you you really need to have at least some identifier that this is either an image item or a quote item so in those cases uh, i would say uh, go for equality narrowing but do know that this is also something uh that if you're into front-end development is not something you most of the time control right this is up to the people that are working on the back end to uh, determine what is being returned but of course if you tell them like hey <clears throat> i need you to at least pass a type property on an object that probably wouldn't make a, a big a big deal out of it but this is definitely something i recommend you to do what you will see in practice especially like with larger components is that you might have some code duplication right so you have right here now we have these both return statements but maybe these uh list items have something that is um well shared between them right they have a lot in common or they're essentially exactly the same so then you have two options you could say uh to create a different component out of it and just well use it right here so you only have like one line uh that uh well return a certain amount of code on the other hand i wouldn't be too worried about some, having some copy pasting right here uh unless it, it really gets messy but this definitely it, it results in more lines of code but the type checking with typescript is so much worth it so i hope you took something away from this video if you liked it please uh, give a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have a question. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, um, please do uh, consider that. So thanks so much again, and I'll see you in the next one.